Well, welcome back, you lovely words, to this FIFA 17. I'm Scrooge. Guys, 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 we have the bigger one. We got the bigger titties in this old bitty bitty. As you can see over here, we got one and two legs up against Chelsea. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a battle of the three for three tanks. It is going to be epic. Hakari Mugen versus. Antonio Conte. I mean, no disrespect to Zidane, but I mean, Conte is just more battle tested. He's revered. He's now seen as a god in the Prem. And I'm going to be salivating, absolutely salivating at the thought of going ahead and getting up against him. Issue though, in the last episode, we did take a lot of knocks. El Cadori went down and then we lost David Sanchez, our best defender for the rest of the season. So we're hurting. We're hurting metaphorically and literally right now, but I went ahead and had a vote. You guys said that you still believe in me. You, the fans of this career mode, still believe you have the faith. And this is what happens, man. Great teams, they sometimes lose players, but they gotta find a way. That's why they pay the managers the big bucks. And there we go. We get in the news. More great news to start off. Omar al Qadori. he seemed to have, he it looked in the game. Go back and watch it in the last episode. It looked like he fell on his chest and he held his shoulder as he left the field. Lateral collateral ligament. So his LCL, which is like the middle knee ligament, and he's going to be out for three months. Which is, I mean, for a knee injury, <laughs> three months isn't too bad, but there we go. Lost another player for the season. And in two days' time, we're facing Chelsea in the first leg. But it's okay, guys. It is okay, because I have brought an old friend back to help me in these times of need. Kimchi Corner has returned. This time we got new kimchi. It's not as shitty as the spicy ones. This is like daikon radish kimchi that's kind of like in a cube and stuff. It's really good. All right, let's get into the press comments before this. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to compliment the man. I like his style. What he's done in the Prem this season has been absolutely fantastic. What he's done in Italy in the past, just astronomical. The dude is a killer, man. And I cannot say enough good things about Antonio Conte. I want to be respectful to him. All right, in the last episode, we went ahead and we asked you guys which South American country that you guys want to do. And I kind of I knew the moment that we brought Brazil into it, it was going to be. It, it was going to be Brazil. Let's be honest. So what I'm going to do, do I do physically strong so they're kind of fast? I'll do physically strong this time. Let's see if we can get something interesting with physically strong. Hard to go wrong. And then we got the last one right here. Where do we go ahead and put our final scout in this routine? And for this, I'm thinking we, do, we go to a region that we haven't gone before. We're going to go and have a vote on the Americas. What do you guys want from the Americas? You can either vote Canada, Mexico, or Estados Unidos. Just want to go, you know, it, it might not be the most I thing I understand. Okay, I understand. But it's interesting, man. I don't want to kind of switch up a little bit new, more variety. It's a spice of life type of deal. So go ahead, vote in the eye thingies. Which of the Americas, you know, which countries in the Americas would you like to go and send a scout? With the loss of Sanchez and El Cadori, it's becoming more and more apparent that we have to train up our youngsters. They're going to have to step up. Let's get them all up, and hopefully they can blossom before season's end. What? Did I hit the wrong thing? I hit the wrong thing! I said the lack of discipline will cost him. I'm sorry! I didn't mean this! Conte, you're my idol! Well, not my idol, but I respect you, bro. I, oh my God. Oh my God. Chelsea's going to come for that ass in this one, aren't they? I fucking poke the beehive. <laughs> well, let's do our usual. Down to 37 for the pass error and down for 37 for the shot error as well as down for 37 for the first touch error. This is going to be fun. Anyways. I need the strength, Nubus. I lost another player for the year. The Nubus strength. By the way, 20 people said you sucked. Really? Yeah. It's you lied! What? What? 68% said yes, have her on more. You fucking liar. <laughs> look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look. <laughs> they love you, Nubus. They really do. Fuckers. <laughs> All right, we go into this Chelsea match super depleted. As you can see right here, we got Leon Bailey, Dolberg, Lozano, Klaassen, 
Gundonk Gundonk in the CDM position. Ziek, Cyprian, Riddlewald, Huste now replacing the injured David Sanchez uh, um, at the top, the commander in chief position. In that, and then Dabble is actually playing right back with Fanon in between the sticks. Now we go to the. Uh, we go to the bench, and this is where it kind of sucks. Adam Milson, Rossi are pretty solid. I'm going to probably bring them in. Isak, Owusu, Gamboin's not all the way, Osudebe, and Tete. And it's just because we don't have the stamina. We had a game not too long ago, and with the. Which uh, is losing two really vital players to us. Our depth is just absolutely sunk into the ground. Ooh. Here we go, guys. Home leg, home leg, home leg. This is where we got to make our mark. I mean, the first teamers, they all in it, you know. They have full capacity, they have full stam. We gotta get this done. I wonder if I started this late enough where Chelsea's actually switched to 343 tactics. Not totally sure. Ugh. I don't know if it'll get much easier on the other side. I see Barcelona's in the other side of the bracket. You know what? I'm not gonna look that far ahead. One game at a time. Big test, man. Big test. This isn't a great matchup for us, honestly, because we got Brian Dabo. Who's not the quickest guy out on the left side who's going to have to deal with Hazard. And then up front, Huste is going to be battling with Diego Costa. And Huste is not the strongest guy. He's fast, but he's not that strong. It's going to be a battle between strength versus quickness. We'll see who comes out on top. Eden Hazard, Willian on the other side. Doesn't even get it that much easier. Ruben Neves now in the midfield along with Nemanja Vati, uh, Matic. I believe they are playing. Hmm. Yeah, I guess like a modified. It kind of looks like a 5. Because I don't think there's any 3-4-3. Three, three. Is there actually a 3-4-3 three, three formation in the game? But I think they're playing with the two wing backs. Wow. They have a super athletic back line. With both David Luiz and Amaric Laporte He's in here. Gary Cahill. He's not even that slow either. Ivanovic. Yeah, they're playing back 5 essentially. Cyprian! Oh, right at Courtois. Fuck me. Hit it, Ziek! Oh, once again, Courtois. Looks like he's on amphetamines. Ooh, a foul given away in a very dangerous position here. That's good power. Ah, oh, it's too much on it. That was only one and a half bars, too. Oh, good work. Leon, take it to the byline. Cross it to the middle. To Hakim. Dab Louise. Safe, safe, safe stuff. Okay, thank you. Um, dominating play from us. I'm not going to lie. I don't even know if they have a shot on target or even a shot in general. But good defensive work from Chelsea. They've set up well. They're very stout. They got five. It feels like five in the back, essentially. Um, and it's, they've been really, really tough to break down. Yeah, utter and total domination at home. Five shots, four of them on target. Courtois bailing them out a couple of times. Uh, almost 70%. I don't even know if I've ever had a percentage that high. But all this is for naught if we don't get a goal. This could just be Chelsea's tactic. It's just absorb, 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 hold form, and then just try to hit us. Because they just need one away goal, and we could be devastated. Good stuff. Why not let it fly? Get in. Oh, Cyprian had good positioning there. But just got a little bit muscled off of it. Good position right now. Oh, but that's a good counterattack from Willian. Oh, no. We've been beaten for pace. Oh, what oh, a great save. And that is as quickly as it can happen, man. Lightning quick. Oh, that's a great ball. Please be offsides. Please be offsides. Oh, no. Just get it out. Okay, Dendonker can't get it as far as... But Quaita! <sighs> you know, I was feeling calm in this match until this moment, man. Now, I'm starting to get some heartbeat and some blood flowing in me. Why not let it fly? Oh! Oh, who's day? Coming up from a... Yeah, I guess he could pick him because that wasn't too far off. Dolberg seems absolutely knackered, so we're gonna go ahead, bring in Adam Milson, and get in him on get in behind. So it's a little bit untraditional here, but we're putting Leon Bailey into the middle, Lozano in out on the left side, and we're bringing in Eduardo Rossi. Use your pace. Oh, fuck you, it's little Quaita. Oh, we got a shot here. We got a shot to beat him to the line. Get him into the middle. Get it away from everyone. And a poor pass, and that'll end it. Oh. 
I mean, it's it's not a terrible result, but it's just frustrating, I guess. Their attacks were blunted, our attacks were blunted. Not the best football from both sides. We forced a couple of good saves from none of the day. Forced a couple of good saves. And this is it. This is just the round one, man. This is that's essentially it. We were kind of just doing a little bit of footsie, testing the distance. But in the second leg, the second leg is when we go for the knockout. As you can see here, the only guy who played a very good match was Dindonka Dunk. Uh, no goals, no assists. Match facts dictate that we played well, but Chelsea kind of came back in the second one. They had six shots and uh, two shots on target, all coming in the second half, and then got a little bit more of the possession back. Equal in tackles. Break time with Fizz Face Jacobs. Fizzle Face, give it to me. 73 to 93. All right. I signed that full up. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I don't know if I've ever seen a potential from. It is only 15! He's only 15 years old! Left footed. And he's an offensive player. Could this guy be it? I don't want to overhype it, but I am overhyping it. Daniel DeRise. Yo, 79 to 94 right off the bat. Signing him up. Did we just did we just find? Did we just find our next diamond, baby? Did we just find our next diamond? I want to take a look at him. I want to take a look at him right now. Right winger. Already 62 rated. And 500. Oh my god. What a fucking find. Fizz, you getting a raise. 500 in value at the age of 50, 62 rated at the age of 15. Balance is at 73. He's going to have such good balance. Vision, he's only 5'8". Stay short, bro. Stay short. I want you to stay short. One for the future. Please to God, have decent stars, weak foot, and skill moves. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm going to start training up Daniel DeVries right here, right now. Let's go ahead and get him up. He's only 15, which means we probably can't even get him for another season. But what a fucking talent he could become. Ooh, who's taking him up to a 77? That's what I like to see. All right, we assume this match up against the Celsior. An away match, always going to be tricky. Let's see how it goes right here. One, two, three, skip. Okay, okay, not bad. I'll take a draw. I will take a draw. Nori and Rossi going ahead and netting. Okay, this time... Let's go ahead, redeem ourselves. I'm gonna totally make sure Antonio Conte. I'm sorry that I said those things about you. I'm gonna go ahead and praise you right now, Antonio Conte. I modeled my game, my 3-4-3 game after you, buddy. You know what I'm saying? You're a you're a phenomenal coach. I'm a short guy. You're a short guy. Us short guys gotta stick together i got nothing but respect for your long beautiful flowing hair the absolute angelic jubilance that you have celebrating the goals of your players your coach you're a coach and a half but i hope i win all right so same instructions as last time we're gonna have bailey and lozano come back on defense dolberg is gonna move from a target man to a balanced attacker Lawson's also going to come back on defense. Same starting lineup as last time, although now on the bench, we have uh, some fully rested reinforcements. Adam Wilson, Galdemez, Musa Dembele, Sinkraven, Broin, Osadebe, and Kenny Tete. All, almost all rested except for Bam Bam over there. But let's go ahead. This is it. This is it. For this moment. Try hard mode engaged. <sighs> Here we go. Stanford Bridge. Chelsea. Roman Abramovich's team, Antonio Conte's team. Arguably one of the most dominant sides over the past decade in the English Premier League. It's weird, because I felt like we played very well in that first match. I I feel confident in this one. I don't feel nervous, if that's a thing. But we're away at Sanford Bridge. I just don't, I feel calm, man. I feel relaxed, I feel loose. Nothing to do. In fact, I'm going to go attacking from the beginning. You know what? In fact, I'm going to go ultra attacking from the beginning. That is how loosey-goosey I'm hitting this. Ooh, free up space. Knock it in. Go! Our defender fell down. We picked out Cipri beautifully. And it busted in on the woodwork. 
Dolberg to Ziyech! Oh, 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 we're getting closer, man. We're getting closer. Oh, no! Great save. Great save, Onana. Okay. I'm starting to feel it now. I'm not going to lie. The tingle is in my dingle. Do him, Bailey. Do him, Bailey. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. No! I do. I do. Bailey with that pace is going to be dangerous. That was kind of sexy. Bailey running that well, they couldn't keep up. Maybe I gotta get him to those positions more often. You map up? You must be mad. Oh no! Hazard's done me! Oh thank god! Good recovery. Oh thank god. I'm gonna fall out. I'll go to halftime. I will go to halftime and a half. Chelsea, a little bit more wandering here. Able to commit a couple men. Hazard's done me in, but we've been able to recover. And they haven't been able to capitalize. Whew! Dead even. Two to three tackles, 50%. I got one more shot off. We both have one shot on target. I'm actually going to have Cyprian play on the outside and put Leon Bailey into the middle. I know this is kind of weird, but I saw what happened, and the injection of pace was just something that they couldn't deal with. Oh, can we hit this? We're on to it! Run on to it, Lozano! Run on to it, please! Yes! <laughs> Counter attack, baby! The executioner! Going ahead and putting it in! Yo! Boom, baby! Go, baby! Oh my goody goodness! What a fucking counter! That's all it takes! Away goal! They gotta score two. They gotta sit back, kids. I don't fucking care. You can call me a cunt all you want. We going defensive. Taking you way back. You're gonna be a left winger. Squad wise, we're taking out the Donk Donk. He's pretty tired. And we're gonna bring in Kenny Tete. Good work, Jose. Oh, tap it in! Yes! Yo! Advance! Advance it, lads! Advance it! Come at me! Come at me, Conte! Come at you know I have the much I have you know what I have so much support for you. But even you would appreciate me celebrating like this on this couple goal. They gave up the space, man. They gave up the space. Ziak pings it off. We get a lucky goal. I will fucking take it. It was the kimchi. It was the kimchi. El Capitano goes ahead, gets us the second one. Let's shut the door on this, kids. 83rd minute. And we're going to switch it out. Galdemis goes ahead, comes in. Leon Bailey goes back to his now wing back position. Craig's leg. Galdemis got a little bit. Uh oh. Look at this. Oh, I thought I had roasted him off. To the middle, and they pull him back. <laughs> well, that's fucking Chelsea in a nutshell, isn't it? Debo, pick it out. Boom. 3-1. Confucius say IX goal to a semi-final. We give Chelsea the dicking of a lifetime. Questions have to be asked of all over the place. It was that first goal, it was that first magical counter, and Irvin Lozano, who's been quiet for quite a while, man, I don't think we've seen him pop up for about five episodes, goes ahead and breaks it open after what was probably over a hundred minutes worth of KG just testing each other out, finally. That's how this match was going to go, man. It was never going to be back and forth banging goals. This was two heavyweights in the UFC just looking, just winding up, cocking up, cocking up that haymaker. And it was whoever was going to land the haymaker first. Because if Chelsea had scored it, that's exactly what they would have done. If they would have gotten the first goal, they would have locked up shop, absorbed all the pressure and hit us on the counter too. I feel like ultimately what doomed Chelsea was when they're playing five in the back and three up front with William Hazard and Diego Costa. That meant they only had two people left in their midfield. Two people in their midfield to deal with our four diamond plus our two wingers. 
there was no pressure on me in the midfield to make passes. And usually teams that do well against me are the ones that basically congest that midfield, especially through the middle and make it really hard for me to ping passes. And that I never really felt. So tactically, Conte, you kind of let your team down in this one. Hakim Ziyech, of course, a Mongolian general once again, getting another man of the match. Goals coming from Klaassen, Lozano, and Brian Dabo. Let's go ahead and take a look at- Bro, Whoa, he really is my Mongolian general, bro. Yo, look at this fool. Just absolutely just Chris Paulin out there, dishing out the dimes. Three assists. He was the focal point. He was our Ozo. I could fucking kiss you, my brother. And in the next round, guys, we will face either Paris Saint-Germain or Barca freaking Lona in the semis. The dream, man. The dream is still alive. Even with all these freaking injuries, we march on. And with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and conclude this episode of the Ice Crew Mode. If you haven't checked out the previous episode where I asked you guys to go ahead and vote on which new series you guys wanna see, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to that right over here. Ding. And uh, yeah, if you wanna check out the previous episode, go ahead and click over here right here. Ding. But as you want, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself, stay humble, and be weird.